Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and thank you so much for joining this craft along. I am so excited because, um, you know, it's so rare that we get to put time aside and just go and create something that we really, really want to do. And it's amazing that uh, as of this moment, we have 12 craft girls on this um, encore tour. And so, you know, it's going to be 12 amazing projects. This one I'm super excited about. This one means so much to me. First of all, it's my baby girl, Charlotte. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be using the first color in my skin tone collection under the useful collection so it's just it's got so much meaning for me this overall project so anyway let's get started what i did is i basically brought in the colors that i'm going to use so this jacket of hers is um a paper from american crafts and it's this so everything is on my supply list I will show you in a separate tutorial how I brought in the colors here, just in case you want to do this going forward for clients or whatever it is. Um, so I'm using this for the jacket and I'm using, this is for her shoes. It's, you know, one of my favorite papers. Um, I mean, look at that hollow and it's silver, it's sparkly, it's everything that I would want to wear. <laughs> okay, so I want to go over the colors so that you know what I'm doing. I get, so. Um, you know, kind of like what I said in the supply list, there is the basic project, which I want you to do just so that you can kind of understand, like it's fun putting together the puzzle piece. Um, but then there's like the bottom half of that supply list is how to make it super extra. So what we're doing is in the hat, I am going to cut this in purple cardstock, but I'm going to then add flock to it. I am using a uh, flock from Pink and Main. I don't even know if there's enough time for you to order it to make it, but the nice thing about doing the extra pieces is you can always add it on after the fact. So piece this together, and then all you do is we add another layer of cardstock on top that has the flock. So I'm doing uh, when you're doing flock, what you want to do is, um, even though we're adding the flock on top of it, you want to start out your base layer and cardstock should kind of match it, just so that it you're not conflicting, you're not the flock's not fighting for power to like shine. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using I I. I'm using three different colors and flock to make two different colors in the purple. Um, so we're going to do a lighter purple for the top part, you know, so it's like nice and fuzzy for a warm hat. This one, this little band right here is going to be darker. Um, I'm contemplating adding some hearts in here and adding EXO. I feel like we've already got so much going on that I'm barely gonna be able to fit it in. I mean, I'm gonna go over my hour, I already know it, but I think I'm going last. <laughs> so it will give us time to do it. But so we're doing flock for this. The hair I'm doing, the hair and the eyes, I'm doing two different browns. Um, well, actually, I don't even know if you want to call the eyes like a brown. It's sort of like this gold color. My daughter is Hoppa, so she's got um, she's got these hazel eyes that basically change colors depending on what she's wearing in the sunlight. So I'm gonna go with the with the gold and uh, for her eyes, and then a brown glitter for her hair. Um, this white scarf is going to be white flock. Uh, for the wrap of the scarf and then for the pom-poms we're actually going to make pom-poms and I'm going to be hanging it um, with string underneath this line right here and this line right here so that the pom-poms can actually have a little bit of movement um, we're not going to glue the pom-pom to the actual piece right here but I'm going to keep this in white I'm going to do a white big fluffy pom-pom with some fun colors that I did link to the Amazon, uh, to my Amazon shop, to the, I think it's called eyelash yarn or something like that. I wanted a bunch of different colors. It's going to be super cute. Um, the jacket we've already talked about, it's American Crafts uh, printed paper. I'm going to do just a pale pink. Um, it's not so pale i think it's i'm going with romance she's wearing pink tights or pink leggings and then the sparkly shoes so that's going to be her all extra out um i am going to do a couple layers i'm going to try to do the hat 
and the scarf in the layers that it would make sense for it to pop out. So for instance, um, this little band will be two layers. This will just be a single layer of flock. This is gonna have double because the band's gonna stick out a little bit more like it normally would in real life. The scarf, what I'm gonna do is the scarf, this back layer of the scarf here is gonna be a single it's going to have foamies. It's gonna pop up from the jacket. The jacket's gonna be glued straight down to the black background, okay? Um, this scarf, this piece right here, is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be one piece, but it's gonna be sticking on foam. This part right here and this part right here, so the ones going around her neck is gonna have two layers. So it's gonna pop out a little bit more than this layer. This layer is going to have three layers because it's going over and then we're going to have the real live pom-poms um, kind of kind of moving a little bit. All right, so now that we've got all that, let's, and I flatten this so that you can kind of see what the pieces are. This is going to be our visual. I like flattening things in design space because as a visual, it's not going to have the Oops, hold on, let me get rid of that little slice result. Right now, this whole piece is one layer. And so flattening it doesn't conflict with, oh wait, is, is it the purple hat in the one I'm gonna cut or is it the one for the visual? So when you flatten the visual, it makes it so much easier. All right, let's go and upload the file. Um, I've already, it's already in here. I'm gonna find my little baby girl, Charlotte. And look at this, this is, this is the skin tone cardstock collection. These are the dolls that I had custom created so that I can cut them out and show you the color range. Um, and here's my Charlotte. I'm gonna add to canvas. And you can see when she first came in, she's looking a lot different with all the colors. And I did this so that I can visualize, you know, for me, you know, that's my struggle. I'm not good with colors like that. I need to see it and I end up recutting a lot. So this is why I did what I did. All right, so let's make her, let's lock it first so that when we go to change the 20 inches that it, oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna make this 20 inches. And you can just literally cut like this. The only thing that is too big is going to be the black background. Everything else will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So. And she's not even showing as an issue because technically you could cut it on a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock. All right, so let's, um, well, let me make this 20 inches. And then that way I can put them side by side and then increase this to 50. And hopefully she's still within there. And I'm gonna move my face over so it's not in the way, okay. How's that looking? Super cute, right? Okay, so um, you can go and change all of these. Everything can be ungrouped and you can start changing the colors the way you want to. Um, if you don't wanna make it like, you know, you do your own color scheme, whatever it is, do it your own way. This is the way uh, Kayla from the Salty Yankee, she is the one that I commissioned to do this line of dolls. This was her vision. I kind of gave her what I wanted. And you know, my little girl is a ski bunny. <laughs> so she's in her ski outfit. Um, okay, so what you should do first is let's just go and I'm gonna ungroup it so I can kind of show you how to change all the colors. So you can go in here and you can change all these pieces. Like here's her jacket. If you wanted to, you can go and you know, you can make it a green jacket. So all these pieces you wanna color coordinate. And the only reason why I say color coordinate is so that when you go to the cutting mat, everything, all the pieces are together and easier for you to handle. So I'm gonna show you quickly. So this one, I can grab all the white and I can change it to green if you wanted to do a green jacket. So you can see how this works, right? You're gonna ungroup everything. The next thing you're gonna do is you're basically going to just move everything over to the side. Like I said, everything is already um, uh, sized, you know, like look at this. This, she, it looks like she's too big, but she's not, you can ungroup it again. So you can kind of see like the face. Oops, did I ungroup it? Okay, there. Everything is gonna fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So basically we're gonna move everything to the side. I'm gonna grab all this 
and I'm just gonna move it over. This piece, if you only have 12 by 12 inch cardstock, this is what you're gonna do. We know the width is under 10 inches, so we're good. The, the height, the length is 20 inches, so I know this can be split in half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to shapes and I'm gonna bring in a square and I'm gonna make the square 12, in, oops, 12 inches, okay. And I'm just gonna put it somewhere right here. I think that's good. So what we can do is to make it really easy on us to see where we're gonna split it, let's do this. I'm gonna move all this over, okay? We're gonna duplicate this. We're gonna take the first square. You click on it, go to position, and you see like where I am already? I'm just gonna round up to the nearest whole number. So 10.9 becomes 11, 7.3 becomes seven. So basically what I said to Design Space is go over 11 units. So here's eight, here is 10, 11 go down seven units and here's the beginning of my square, okay? So this one, I'm going to move it over really close and then I'm gonna round to the nearest whole number. So my X is gonna be 11 and my Y is gonna be 19. And does that make sense? Let's double check. This one is at seven, in, at seven inches, right? Seven, my cardstock is 12 inches, so this one should be at 19. So now I know these two are totally flush. These two squares are flush together. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this over. Um, arrange, send to the front. And I'm gonna put her here to see where is this gonna slice. Um, so basically let's put, let's bring this to the front. And for now what we'll do is, you know what, let's grab these two items and we're gonna arrange, let's align first. So align center, and then we're gonna group it, okay? So we're gonna move her over, and we're gonna see like, where are we gonna cut this little deal? So I like where we're cutting here, maybe, because it cuts through the hair, the hair is gonna cover it, the scarf is gonna cover it. But you know what, there's a lot of, let's see if we can do something. I like this even more. So it's gonna cut through the jacket. The pom-poms are gonna be like moving. I don't think you're gonna notice the little, the little seam lines. So let's cut it right there. So now that we're good with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ungroup it and then we're gonna move that top layer out like this, okay? Then we're gonna grab the square and the black background and we're gonna slice. When you're slicing, you can only slice two items at a time. So we're slicing the one square and the black background. And when you do that, we now have two pieces that we can cut on a 12 by with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This one is just under 12 inches. And it may give us, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna grab these two and delete. Um, so let's save this. Now I'm gonna remove this one and let's go to the make it screen, okay? The make it screen is gonna look a little funky because we didn't change all the colors, but that's okay. I'm gonna click on mat and I always cut on 12 by, 20, 12, 12 by 24. And the reason why I do that, and most of the time I do only use 12 by 12 cardstock, but here's where it makes a difference because this guy right here, this one goes past the 12 inch line but remember, it was under 12 inches because it doesn't cut from the top. It doesn't cut at zero, zero, right? So when you go to put this piece down, even if you have only 12 by 12 cardstock, you're gonna use, if you have a Cricut Maker or an Air 2, you won't have this issue. You can put your 12 by 12 cardstock on a 12 by 12 mat. Just make sure it extends past the mat. Your your Cricut is gonna think that you have a 12 by 24 mat. But if you have the Air 3 or the Maker 3, 
you're going to need a 12 by 24 mat even if you only use 12 by 12 paper i personally like using i as you see in all my tutorials and all my videos i always use a 12 by 24 mat because a lot of times i like for this i would put two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock on and i would cut it in one go even though i'm using two sheets of cardstock i would put my first piece of cardstock down past the 12 inch line okay and then my second piece of cardstock it will be hanging off the mat here i'm gonna you know start my paper at the 13 inch line or something like that these two will go and cut and i'll have two beautiful cut pieces okay um all right i hope that was helpful i will see you live on wednesday or thursday well live goes a live stream is wednesday and thursday i haven't quite figured out when my special assembly is going on when i'm going personally live with this project but um thank you so much i hope okay well now i want to take a moment to talk about the vip access so the free ticket the free pass is this file all the files that the creators are using and the live stream all of that is free why you want to pay the $29 for VIP access is that it's lifetime access to these tutorials. Um, you may, uh, you know, I'm going to bring in true story. I made this, well, I'm not even done making it, but this little truck cart thing that was, um, that happened during our uh, Barely Art Craft Girls Takeover. <laughs> this was done by the Carolinas. Uh, um, the Carolinas and Claudia did it live. I caught bits and pieces because I was running around, so I didn't really get to catch the live. Um, but when I went to go make this, I watched the live again. So I watched it post live stream, right? And then I watched it to make sure that I had all the right materials. Then when I had all my pieces cut, I watched the live again. So me seeing everything, I watched that live twice already, um, post live stream. So that's just one project. We have 12, at least 12 amazing projects that to me gives me chills because we, my only criteria to them was that let's try to stick to an hour. And then secondly, I don't care what the theme is. I don't care what, what, no sponsors involved. Use whatever paper that you like, whatever. So it's totally up to you. Just make it special and unique to you it's your specialty project that is super cool to me i've already seen nani's project oh it's so stinking cute i know i'm gonna be making it it looks like it's a at first i thought it was a photo album but i think it's like a little jewelry box because i think what's inside is a little necklace but it can, obviously it could be anything that you put in there so i'm super excited about that i saw lily's cake topper stinking cute <laughs> i saw jessica's uh cake topper also i mean just adorable so it brings out so much like i just the cuteness factor i love it so anyway vip access gets you lifetime access to the live stream which is super important because um like i said you can watch it over and over and make sure that you get all the tips we've got so many tips we've got so much flying at you in the 12 hours of streaming um, you're gonna want it. I promise you it's worth it. $29 <laughs> and then add an added bonus. Um, each craft girl is coming up with their own goodie box uh, to be raffled off. So like mine is first of all, it's coming, it's going to be shipped in my Barely Art Design Team box. So that I've been saving them. They're up on my shelf. Like they're, they're meaningful to me, um, but I'm going to get rid of one of them. One of them is going to one of you guys, one of my VIP access holders. Um, and inside is going to be all my fun things. I already know for sure off the top of my head, the XO glue bottle, um, the, the glue, the glue bottle holder from whimsical wishes. They already told me it's, tr they gave me a tracking number there. It's included in my box and it's the, it's mine. It's the one that I have the sprinkles, the spilled ice cream, the white vanilla with the sprinkles. Um, what else is in my box? Um, first peak exclusive access to my skin tone colors for the cardstock. Uh, I only have two sets in my craft room. One set is going to you in that box. <laughs> um, what else was I throwing in there? By We Are Memory Keepers, like tool pick thingy. 
my favorite Excel blade knife. I mean, it's literally everything that's on here, like all my favorites. My needle paper, um, who else is going in there? I don't know, just, you know, it's all my favorites. That's And that's what everyone's doing. It's sort of like, you know, Oprah's favorite box, whatever. Uh, this is your, every, each craft girl, it's their box of favorites. Um, so I'm super excited. I may throw in a craft or two. Oh, speaking of, Oh no, it's in my photo box. The the project that I just did for Artist Free, the Craft Girl makeup case, that's going in there. Um, oh, and sprinkles. I mean, I'm <laughs> I know, I'm like, I get so excited. Um, where is it? I put it away because I was cleaning up. Give me a second, I'm coming back on, on screen. This is, I mean, literally I was shopping for this box. One for me, one for you. <laughs> sprinkles for, you know, like when you make a shaker. I don't know, it's gonna be so amazing. And um, I just, I don't know, anytime that I sell tickets to something that I'm doing, um, I get super excited because um, I know, like I always say this, I know it's not the cheapest thing around town, but I really try to make sure that everyone, that I am comfortable with what I'm selling, which is I'm delivering on that whole experience. And, um, you know, like, Yes, this is my career and it's my business and I am trying to, you know, make a living, but you know, I I want to do it where it's like I'm excited about it. Like I'm not trying to sell it. I'm not trying to scam anyone. Like there is so much value in this thing and um that's always going to be me. Like I want to deliver an experience and it makes me happy to to fulfill that and also to have the most fun doing it. And that's why I've got my craft girls on board. It's the encore. And um, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for joining along on the, in the experience. Um, you know, every, every time I have a moment with someone, it's just like, it's in that memory bank of like, one day when I'm done crafting, I'm gonna have all these amazing memories. And that's kind of like in this lifetime, in my career lifetime, that's all I want is to do things right. Um, and to, I don't know, to have the most fun possible. <laughs> so thank you, thank you. See you on the live stream. And I hope that you guys all are VIP access members. XOXO Craft Girls. Bye.